In this video, we show you some of the new improvements to the VFB. First, you'll notice that there is a pause option, so you can pause your VFB update without having to stop the interactive render. Simply click the pause icon again to resume your render. Any updates made to your scene while paused will be collected and will be reflected when you unpause. The VFB itself also lets you start a new interactive render with this icon as well. Now, if you right-click on the Start Interactive Render icon, you can choose the camera to render, and the same goes for the Production Render icon. Once you have an IPR or interactive render running, from within the VFB, right-click and choose Select Object, and when you click on the item in the IPR render, it selects the object in the scene. Furthermore, right-click and choose Select Material, and you can select that object's material in the hypershade directly from the VFB. Now turn on Depth of Field in a V-Ray Physical Enabled Camera. And in the VFB, when you right-click and choose Set Focus Point, you can select where your focus is in the frame. This action sets the Focus Distance attribute for your physical camera. And if you don't have a physical camera, this will set the value of the focus distance in the render settings. Now, turn on lens effects, and when you enable one of the effects, let's say Bloom, you can see that the effect is shown in a new render element called Effects Result. This allows you to still have the RGB before the lens effect takes hold, and can also be toggled with this icon. Furthermore, these lens effects are all now available in IPR interactive rendering when on the GPU as well as the CPU.